Tonight, outbreaks are on the rise among kids in El Paso County schools and daycares. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell joins us now from outside the El Paso County Health Department. Sydney. Officials say there's more than meets the eye to these numbers, but for now we know that in El Paso County, there are outbreaks tied to 16 schools, four daycares and two youth sports facilities. It's a number that's almost doubled in the past few weeks. The amount of cases in kids tied to schools and child care facilities in El Paso County. Now, these are relatively small outbreaks, impacting only a handful of students at each facility. But for the past several weeks, these numbers sat consistently in the upper 20s and 30s. This week, it jumped to the 50s. Kids make up one of the groups that is not eligible for the vaccine anytime soon, largely because, according to the CDC, most children with COVID-19 have either very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. However, kids can still spread the virus. Outbreaks among children are growing across the state of Colorado. This week, the first report of a bus outbreak, that's out of Douglas County, and a pretty sizable outbreak at a gymnastics facility in Littleton, impacting 44 kids and 10 staff members. The only outbreaks in El Paso County that were not tied to daycares or schools were found in two separate youth wrestling clubs. Now, we reached out to El Paso County Public Health about this, and they got back to us just a little while ago. They sent us a statement, and it basically says that schools have higher reporting requirements than other facilities. So these numbers don't necessarily mean that schools are the only places that outbreaks are growing in our community. To read the full statement, you can head to our website, krdo.com. Live in Colorado Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.